optical submarine cable systems link continents effectively and efficiently. These systems can withstand water pressure down to 8,000 meters and transmit over distances in excess of 10,000 kilometers. Optical submarine cables with their huge communications capacity and low latency have overtaken communication satellites as the transmission system of choice. They now carry 99% of international communication traffic. NEC has built some of the largest cable networks in service today and we have the production capacity to allow us to deploy submarine systems, large or small, on a competitive time scale because we recognize that reducing time to revenue is really important for our customers. An important quality that NEC brings is simply experience. Over the years we've built up close connections with all parts of the value chain, marine service providers, environmental specialists and so on. We'll take care of every step of the process that provides each of our customers with a full spec, full turnkey cable system. Handling any large infrastructure can have its challenges. And that's where our program management team excels. They coordinate all the project resources, production facilities, survey and installation vessels, local partners and so on. All of NEC's submarine products, wet and dry plant, are designed in-house and manufactured in Japan. Customers who visit our factories never fail to be impressed by the meticulous engineering and quality assurance processes that they see there. Today, we can encode digital information in every possible dimension of an optical laser beam. Thanks to that, the capacity of submarine cables has increased at an unprecedented pace in recent years. Now higher than 10 terabit per second in one fiber pair. That could be more than 80 terabit per second in a single submarine cable. Our submarine cable systems form a successful combination of mature technologies, repeaters and submarine cable, with cutting edge technologies like digital coherent transponders and submarine robots. This combination ensures the largest capacity and the best connectivity while keeping the maximum reliability for continuous and long term fault free operation. At NEC, we have a strong commitment to innovation and R&D. With facilities and research labs in Japan and in the United States, we are continuously improving our technology. Thanks to that, our customers see how the cables that we are building today would be upgradable in the future with technologies that drastically increase the capacity of the system and continue to drive down the cost per bit. Submarine wet plant equipment, such as cable, repeaters, or branching units, are carefully designed to operate in the tough conditions of deep ocean waters and stay there untouched for 25 years. A single submarine cable can contain up to eight fiber pairs. When building a submarine cable system to provide ultra-fast, ultra-reliable global capacity, it is essential to offer well-proven designs for the optical fiber cable. In deep water, the cable is coated with minimal protection. In shallow water, the cable is overlaid with armor wires. This important device protects the cable from external aggression, such as seabed exploration and fishing. The cables are coiled into the cable tank of the cable laying ship. The desktop study is the first report to visualize the cable system that the customer will own in the near future. Based on the desktop study, we will carry out the route survey. Cable and repeaters are manufactured based on the cable route survey information. Repeaters are placed every 40 to 100 kilometers in the cable system. It is imperative that these repeaters keep operating smoothly over a long period of time in cold, deep water. The repeaters have their own exclusive loading space on the cable laying ship. The cable ship will transit to wherever the cable will be deployed and then she will start her operations. Cable landing involves securing the submarine cables on land and linking them to the land-based facilities in the landing stations. NEC can arrange all the necessary permits to land the cable in each country connected by the system. These arrangements take into account local regulations, labor laws, environmental concerns, and the rights of other stakeholders, such as fishermen. 
the landed cables are attached to the terminal station equipment installed in the landing stations. Taking full advantage of submarine cable network systems technologies that NEC has developed over many years, NEC has also been developing and supplying the submarine cable-based ocean bottom seismometer systems. There are two kinds of systems. One is the inline system, the other is the node system. These systems can enhance the seismological observation of possible epicentral areas. Seismometers and tsunami sensors placed at observation points on the ocean floor can detect initial P waves from any earthquake activity earlier than existing systems. In the wake of the March 2011 devastating earthquake and tsunami that hit the northeastern part of Japan, the Japanese government has accelerated their plan to install the submarine cable-based earthquake and tsunami sensing networks. This network, when completed by the year 2015, will have over 5,000 kilometers of submarine cable and also over 150 submarine observation units. We are also currently installing the DUNET-2 earthquake and tsunami monitoring system off the Key Peninsula. Jamstec has commissioned this more extensive system to monitor seismic vibrations in the Nankai Trough. NEC supplies equipment in every layer of the network. From satellite to submarine and from microwave radio to optical systems, we can add value to our submarine cable systems by employing the latest network solutions in the industry. At NEC, we are developing the most advanced technologies for repeaters and repeaterless submarine networks to help our customers meet the ever-increasing demand for international data traffic. Orchestrating a Brighter World, NEC.